Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing Jira Service Management versus Zendesk. I personally have used both tools and they're very, very similar, but today we're going to put them head to head and find out which one is better for you and your team. Do you get many customer requests in languages that your agents can't speak? Then language translations for JSM by our good friends over at Resolution is the perfect app for you. It allows you to leave a great impression on your customers without having to hire folks to speak every specific language that your customers speak. Check it out in the marketplace. And oh, by the way, there's a 20% discount in the description down below. So make sure you use that when you start your trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into our comparison. So we're going to start things off by comparing pricing first. I think as a company, uh, features aside, pricing is a huge reason why we do or don't pick a tool. So we're going to talk just straight pricing and what do you get between the two different tools. So right away, you can see that up to three agents, Jira service management is completely free. And then down here, we can actually compare and see what you get. And as you can see, you're getting a whole lot of check marks. The only thing you don't get is global and multi-project automation. And if you've seen any of my other videos about the other comparisons of Jira's free versions, this is not a big deal. You can essentially just create automation rules for just one project and make copies of them. And you, you have basically multi-project automation. So you get a lot for this free package, which is really, really great. And most importantly, when you do start paying for things, notice that it's $21 a month. You start adding for 21 here or 47 for all the bells and whistles. So $47 a month is going to get you pretty much everything that Atlassian has to offer. And you get a lot. Trust me when I tell you that for that 47 and that 21 respectively, you still get a lot of functionality. You get a lot of cool features such as incident management. If you go for the premium, you get uh, a bunch of change management items. You get a bunch of asset management and server and configuration management. So a lot of, lot of really great stuff that you're getting out of this premium version for just $47. Now I am saying just $47 because when you compare it to Zendesk, their cheapest option is more expensive than JSM's most expensive option, which is really crazy to me. So for $49, this is like your basic entry point. And you're paying this per agent per month. So it is going to stack up quite high right away. And so if you want like all the bells and whistles, you got to bump yourself up to the $99 a month. And we are going to be comparing features next so we can talk about what we're actually going to get. But let me tell you just right out of the gate, like these tools are very, very similar. Like, yeah, maybe you get a little bit here, a little bit there, but you are talking about 2x the price at this point. And that right there is already like my biggest deal breaker where we got to essentially, if we want all the bells and whistles, we got to start paying double than when we pay for Jira service management. So that right there should be already your number one reason why JSM is better. But that aside, let's actually go to Zendesk's website. So we're in Zendesk.com and they have an at a glance comparison. So I'm just going to give you my raw opinion because again, consider I have used both of these tools. I've used them not, I wouldn't say in depth. Well, I would say I've used JSM in depth, but I have used Zendesk just enough to be dangerous. So I'm going to give you my perspective and my opinion based on what I have used. So again, very, very, this is going to be cited towards Zendesk, right? So we're just going to kind of beat up their reasoning in a way and explain what, if this is good or not. So a high customer satisfaction at scale. How is this something that you can measure? Easy setup. I'll give it that easy adoption. Mm. Again, not sure how they can say no to JSM because uh, I would say it has a very easy adoption as well. Low cost implementation. I would put an X on Zendesk because not only that, but I should also tell you that I did sign up for Zendesk and they don't have a free tier. They have a 14 day trial that you can try out, but there is no free tier so that you can't just indefinitely use J uh, Zendesk for free. So you do have to at some point provide a credit card and or basically pay for the service. And you also need to provide a lot of personal information just to get started with Zendesk versus with JSM, you do a couple of clicks and you're ready to go. It's a lot easier. So I would say it's easy setup and easy adoption on the JSM side over Zendesk. 
low total cost. So let's go over here, unified omni-channel status and workflows. I don't know what they, this even means, but what I can tell you is that your workflows in JSM can be standardized and everybody would have the same statuses in the same workflow. So not really sure why they would give an X to JSM here. A unified omni-channel customer experience. Again, not really sure what this even means and why this is a feature, but clearly JSM can't do it. I don't know why you would want to do it, but there's that. Uh, unified analytics, again, JSM does reporting and there's there's a lot of information in jsm uh real-time agent workspace okay what in the world does this mean because every jsm project has a jsm project and it's a workspace and you can essentially work out of it and track all your queues and all the requests so um single browser tab agent experience okay this is a personal preference folks this is not a feature this is not something that i'm going to pay two times the price so that jira doesn't open up extra tabs like this is this is not this is crazy None of these features, skill-based routing. Okay, so this is interesting. This right here is an interesting thing where you could, in theory, as a request comes in, route it to the right team, but you can kind of build this. If you're on a paid version, you can route in JSM, and there's also additional plugins that we can take a look at that help you with this. So I wouldn't necessarily like say that this is not something that Jira does, because you definitely can do this in JSM, but it does take some configuration. So I'm assuming that Zendesk would have some similar configuration as well, but I, I don't know, I, I think this is an unfair X. Remember, if your agents need to engage in conversations with customers that don't speak their native language, you can make everyone's lives easier with language translations for JSM. And it's not just about the translations. You can build queues for customers by language or simply automate assignments so that your specific language speakers are automatically given that specific ticket based on their specific language. Check it out in the Atlassian Marketplace and don't forget that there's a 20% code in the description down below. Um, let's see, custom metrics. So what's another one? Custom attribution. So I don't even know, like what, they should really put a description. So this is one thing, when you go and compare the the features and capabilities of what Jira does. And so I'm back on JSM's website and they're like configurable workflows. And you're like, what is that? Well, you can click on it and it tells you, configure your request forms and associated workflows with easy to use fields that drag and drop. So if you ever not know what any of these things are, you can just click on them and at last thing gives you a little bit more information. When I'm looking at the Zendesk thing, that like custom attribution, what do I, what does that mean? Do I even need it? Like you don't even know. I am not seeing any reasons here as to why I would go with Zendesk based on these check marks here, because I would honestly say that a lot of these X's that we are getting are either fake news or not relevant. Now, here's one thing. Whoa, here's one thing that I caught. Now, this is really, really interesting. Um, HIPAA enabled. This right here is a pretty big deal for some companies. Some companies do require HIPAA enablement. Now. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to caution you here. I have done some research on JSM's HIPAA capabilities. And let me tell you that Jira Service Management does indeed have HIPAA compliance. And so I'm just trying to see if I can find where they have it on their website here, but I'm not seeing it. But I can tell you that if we go over here and we do Jira Service Management HIPAA, if I could spell HIPAA, I don't think there's an I in there, right? but um, there's a HIPAA section for, or maybe there's two, there's not two P's, there's a two A's. But if we go to HIPAA, Atlassian does have a HIPAA section. And as you can see, Jira Service Management Cloud Enterprise does have HIPAA compliance. You do have to unfortunately sign up all the way for an enterprise version, which comes in at a very, very expensive cost, but it is there. So if you're looking for a HIPAA compliant service management or ITSM tool, Jira service management is going to do it for you. So this X right here is very misleading because they want you to think that it's not HIPAA enabled, but they're not also disclosing like which price range qualifies you for that HIPAA compliance. Do you need to be on the most expensive one? Do you need to be on the enterprise version? Like I think that that would be really interesting for them. Yeah. So these two right here, so you got to be at least on the hundred dollar a month per agent version to have that HIPAA compliance. So as you can see, you're gonna have to pony up and go up pretty high in order to get that BAA um, thing anyway. So, right, so service management, even if at, even at their enterprise version, it's still gonna be cheaper than the $100. So there's that part. So now let's switch over to a non-bias. Let's go to Geekflare here and they're gonna just basically compare these items for us. 
So let's look at the different features. Again, this is a third party unbiased review of what the difference between Zendesk and Jira is. So from an automation perspective, you have automation in both. From a template perspective, you have no templates, manual workflow creation is needed. And in Jira service management, you can basically create templates. Uh, ticketing enables agents to quickly process and resolve tickets. Yeah, they both do that. They both have a knowledge base, but the knowledge base in Jira service management does require you to connect to Confluence. So there's that, but uh, there's really no additional cost here. So they both have a knowledge base. They both have simple reporting. And they both provide, you're allowed to do like a CSAT. They're both very, very easy to use. They have, a. I think I've used both. They both have a pretty easy interface. I think that having the super easy pricing model that Atlassian provides is much, much better than their complex subscription model for their, and like, it's just, it's way too much. Like this should be easier on the Zendesk side. Um, over 1200 uh, apps and tools. Atlassian has over 3000. Uh, there's a mobile app um, and there's a mobile app for the other one as well. Uh, offers limited document storage fa facility while Jira has an, an full blown asset management capabilities. Uh, uh, Jira does give you at custom filters and there is an on-premise version of this. So Zendesk, that's another thing. Zendesk is only cloud. So if you're looking to host something on site, Jira service management, I think you could still get away with it. Um, they might have a data center. Let's find out. Let's go to their pricing up here and see if they still offer. Yeah. So they still have a data center version. Um, it is a little bit expensive. You're going to have to get 50 agents, but it is still something that you can still install and kind of host yourself. So there you go. As you can see, there's really, I, I couldn't find a single reason, a single really good valid reason that I would be like, whoa, Zendesk for the win, right? Clearly Atlassian is doing something right here with Jira Service Management because it really does come out as a true winner from a price perspective, ease of use perspective, scalability and adding different functionalities perspective. Like JSM is just gonna do you a whole lot better for a lot less money. And so unless you have a lot of money and you want Zendesk, I don't recommend, I would not recommend you go the Zendesk route. I would still urge you to consider going the JSM route, giving it a try because you can try out JSM for free and you can try it out for free indefinitely versus with Zendesk, you're gonna have 14 days. So you better figure it out real, real quickly. And um, obviously Atlassian has this big giant community and there's a lot of resources available in the Atlassian site anyways as well. So getting tickets in Arabic, Chinese or Spanish, no problem. With language translation for JSM, your agents will engage with your customers as if they were natives. Simply install the app from the Atlassian Marketplace and define your project default language and go. Oh, and while you're doing that, make sure you check out the description down below because our good friends over at Resolution have provided us with a 20% discount that you can use when you sign up for language translation for JSM. Don't miss this chance as they only have a few left. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, drop a like if you get value to this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you just wanna let me know which tool do you like more, are you a Zendesk house? Are you JSM? Have you tried them both? Let me know down in the comment section below. And then finally, my little announcements here is go subscribe to the Jira Life. Jira, the Jira guy and I have launched the Jira Life, a really cool new podcast talking more about bringing you even more Atlassian content. Link in the description below. And if you made it this far and you haven't smashed the subscribe button, you really do got to smash the subscribe button because we are in the summer of Atlassian 2.0 and our goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers and you smashing that subscribe button is gonna help us get there. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need